All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today, what I got in stores, got my hands in an old, another old trading card game or collectible card game. This one is called 7C. I believe this is the No Quarter expansion. I got my head, uh, I got my hands on one of the starter decks right here and also a booster pack as well. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to open it up and check out these old trading card games with you all. I'm a huge fan of trading card games. Magic the Island is one of my favorites and I always like to check out some other interesting ones as well. I never heard about this one when I was younger. I heard about it more recently, and I thought it'd be cool to finally check it out with you all. This one's called Seventh Sea. I believe it's like a pirate-themed uh, card game. I'm not really sure how to play it or anything like that. Maybe we can just read a little bit about it, check out the art, and just see what we can have fun with it. Check out the feel of the cards as well. Anyways, let's just go ahead, open this up, and see what it looks like on the inside. Get rid of the cellophane. It says Seventh Sea. like the color. You got like a compass and a sword right there letting you know it's like a... A maritime kind of game or something like that. It's called C, right in the title, letting you know it's like pirates or something. No quarter. Uh, yeah, uh, collectible card game. Contains 65 cards and rule books. They're all in there. There's a rule book in there as well. A game of pirates, adventure, pirates, and swashbuckling and pirates. Okay, lots of pirates, it says. This one is called the General. I think there's other types of deck. This one's called the General. You got like a flag with the sun on it. I will show you the mercy you showed that merchantman yesterday. Is that fair enough? The General. When there are pirates, there are also those who hunt them. The soldier known as the general is the man personally chosen by the emperor uh, to lead uh, Mont Montigna's navy. Uh, Eisenborn soldiers has little patience for pirates, just enough to watch them sw uh, swinging from the yardum. Okay, so he's a pirate hunter. The seventh three and all uh, related names and places are and 1999 AEG Inc., AEG, I believe, is the company. This is the product number down there. And I believe this came out in 1999. Again, 7C on the top of it. No idea what this retailed for back in the day. Probably like 7 bucks or something like that. No idea. Yeah, cool. So anyway, so let's just kind of open this up and uh, see what some of the cards look like. See if we can check out the rule book and stuff like that. Let me know if you ever played this game when you were younger. Ooh, it says f four players plunder. Is this for four players? I don't know. No inner seal on this one. Interesting, very interesting feeling cards. Let's check out the rule book first real quick. Just thumb through it and see what we can find out. Interesting cards, like a pirate on there right there. No quarter, just like a paper book, kind of what you'd think. You got skills, you got cannon, sailing, adventuring, influence, swashbuckling. No idea what that means. Ships move cost. The Brotherhood of the Coast, the Armada of the Coast, the Crimson Rogues. Um, Explorers, Society, the General of Monte... I have no idea. And the Sea Dogs. I believe those are like, yeah, the faction. These are the skills you can have. Kind of reminds me of that trading card I game I opened up where you actually build tiny little ships. What is it? Pirates of the Spanish Main. I think that was it. I made a video on that as well. Kind of cool to check that out. Let's see what this is. Introduction. 1668. Uh, just the glossary kind of right there. Let's just kind of go with their introduction. You got the pirate right there. Is that the guy in the back? Nope, look, different looking guy. Object, the object of the game in 7th Sea is a very simple, to control the seas. To win the game, you have to be the last captain sailing the seas of Te. When all other captains have been sunk, you win the game. You can't play, you can play with any number of players as long as you have two. So it can be two, two as many as you want. If you wanted to play with 100 people, you could. The decks, the cards in the box are perfectly good to use in your first game, but eventually you want to pick up cards in the decks that will work together. When you're designing your decks, you need to have at least 60 cards in the deck. Okay, 60 cards. Uh, this includes your captain, ship, and starting crew. Okay. Also, you may not have more than three copies of any kind of your deck. So three card minimum and at least 60 cards. The golden rule. Uh, the 7C has many different cards, which can do some wild things. Whenever one of those cards specifically contradicts a rule in the rule book, the card takes a uh, precedence over the rule book. Interesting. There's a couple card games that had this sort of rule where if the card says you're allowed to like, or like, let's say there's a game and you're not allowed to kill monsters, but the card says you can kill a monster, you do what that card says. I feel like uh, the rule book should always have the final say. I think it confuses things a little bit when cards can take priority over the rule book. So that's just something I feel about. You got taking cards. Many times when you're using cards' abilities to produce uh, points and skills, you must tack the cards. Uh, that means to turn the cards sideways, so tapping. They call it tack. Interesting. So many card games involve tapping cards or tacking or, or whatever. 
to untack cards. You turn it back to its original straight up position to show it's ready to act. Cards enter uh, played untacked and ready to be used. Tacking a card does not attack uh, its attachments. Game setup. Okay, let's see the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the game, each player starts with a, a, a deck of 60 cards. Arrange a set of 5C cards between the players in the following order. Trade C, uh, Frothing C, La Boca, <clears throat> Forbidden C, and the Mirror. The Cs do not count against any player's deck limits. Simultaneously, these players reveal which captains and ships they'll be using. So I guess that's like your commander or something like that. These come from your deck. After the players have seen what other players and captain ships are, they decide on their starting crew and remove them from their deck, revealing them simultaneously. The starting crew's total influence cost can't be greater than captain's starting wealth. Interesting. Very similar seeming to the pirates of the the other pirates game. Okay. <clears throat> After all the crews have been revealed, each player places a token representing the ship onto the ship's home sea. Your captain tells you which seat your ship will start in. Each player shuffles the card remaining in their deck. After allowing the opponent's chance to cut, each player draws seven cards from their starting hand. A sample layout is on page 24 to 25. You got different types of cards. We'll go to page 24 and 25 in a second. You got crew cards. Yeah, what other cards? There we go. This is an example of a crew. He looks upset. I'm not really sure. Padre Alfonso. He's a unique, loyal, holy uh, villainous man. <laughs> He's a hoyle villainous, holy villainous man. Reacts, um, tack after a crew tax to absorb hit. The crew absorbs zero hits. Okay. A bunch of things down here. We'll see what they kind of mean. You got a captain. He's your captain. His name is Aurelis. Forbidden seas. Villainous and swordsman. He's extra good with the sword. High seaboarding. It's an action card. Target opponent. <laughs> Ship and sea. Sorry, my throat. Your ship begins to board that ship. All of your boarding attacks during the board inflict one extra hit. Okay, so you raid each other. Romantic captive. What in the world? Attachment. You got this damsel. <laughs> and everyone's uh, getting distracted by her. Very bizarre. Across the mirror. It's an adventure. And this is kind of what the setup of the board looks like. Untacked crew. Attachments. You got ship token. These are all the seas, and then I guess uh, you fight each other for the seas, and the last guy, last uh, ship remaining wins. <clears throat> sunk pile, discard pile, draw a deck. <laughs> so there's a difference between sunk and discard. Discarding and sinking, you have two piles uh, for used cards, your discard pile and your sunk pile. Action cards that you played are discarded after being used. Crew that sink to absorb are hit and sent to your sunk pile, along with your attachments. When you go through your entire deck, shuffle your discard pile. Use it to replenish your deck. Interesting. So if you go through your deck, you can uh, reshuffle it. <clears throat> you got turn sequence. Uh, determine turn order. Okay. At the start of your turn, all players count up three total numbers of sailing points for each entire crew. The player with the most sailing goes first. Okay. You got actions, draw, untack. <laughs> untech actions you got higher crew play in action play or complete adventures play in attachments move your ship make a cannon attack perform a boarding discard a crew discard an adventure so it's an interesting game seems like there's a lot going on right here that's a whole lot to go on in a in one step <clears throat> discard a crew drawing cards boarding if another player's ship is in the same sea as yours you can start boarding with that ship to begin boarding you pay sailing uh, equal to your ship's move cost, the other players may pay sailing equal to your uh, other ship move cost to cancel the boarding. Okay. So it's a game of cat and mouse. Uh, what else do you do? If other player cannot or will not uh, cancel the boarding, then your ship has connected. You and your crews begin fighting for the rest of the boarding. You and the player who be on the board will be called the attacker and the other player's defender. Beginning with the attacker, you push forward with one of your untacked crew to play any card from your hand. To start the boarding attack. So you kind of attack each other. But you have to board. You got canceling. Many actually have a cancel cost in a red flag. Okay. A minimum hand size. Or maximum. In order to your maximum hand size is 7. Although there are cards that can increase or decrease your maximum. Okay. Glossary. Now I got card types cost. Crew maximum. Discard. Discard pile. Draw deck. Fractions. 
just a bunch of inter interesting things right here. Anyways, let's just go ahead and check out some of these cards and see what they're all about. <laughs> cool. All right. And now let's check out what this deck kind of looks like. Interesting. All the backs of the cards, very similar to the box color. Maybe a little bit deeper red. Almost like a burgundy or something like that. And they all say 7C on them. They seem to be some sort of plasticized paper cards or something like that. Very glossy. Very glossy finish. You can see the shine and the light right there. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. Been a little under the weather lately. Got foul... <laughs> there you go. Foul Weather Jack. A little under the weather. He's got his... His, uh... Um, was that a... What is that? A parrot? There you go. There's a parrot feather in his hat. You must discard the top of your deck each time you shuffle your deck. Sink jacks if boarding attack on discard is a slash. Okay, you got PCT. Not really sure. You got two cannon. Got sailing. One X. Uh, sailing is one. Uh, no, adventuring is one. Influence is one. Swashbuckling is one. Okay. Is this your captain? Is he my captain? No, he's a crew. There you go. Adventures, barrels of beer. <laughs> it's funny. A whole bunch of beer. He's talking to the captain, right? That's a funny picture. He's talking to the captain right there. He accidentally, well, not accidentally, he slashed a hole in it and he's filling up his cup as the captain saying, Make sure you guard the beer and don't have any. Venture, one sea away, good adventures. To complete, tack three adventuring, two if you complete in La Boca. Influence plus two. Very interesting. That's a funny picture. I like the art. Who drew this stuff? It doesn't really say. Oh, it does right here. By Herbert, 1999. Oh, Paul Professor Herbert by Jeff Reels. Very cool. So different artist. Very cool. Uh, Louis Cieses de Cieses. Not sure. He's a cannon member. He's got the torch in his hand. He's about to light the cannon off. Don't stand too close behind it or you'll get blasted yourself. Uh, Gunner Heroic. Very cool. Not sure what the PC and T mean down there. This guy's upside down. Jack Tars. He's a crew He's loyal. He's got a panther with a sword in there right there. Very cool. Who drew this one by Ben Peck? Very cool. Just going to kind of go through these cars. Might not read all of them. Just have some fun with it. Some some nice stuff right here. Got a lady. Uh, uh, Katharina. Looks like she's got a, uh, what are those eggs? One of those like jaded eggs or like gilded eggs. I can't remember it. Um, she's got like plus one to swording, adventure, <coughs> Sorry, my throat. One sea away. Tack three adventurings. Two complete in the mirror. Crew attachment. One swashbuggling. Uh, this crew inflicts one extra hit during boarding attacks. Still not sure how the adventuring works, but cool. You got bad powder. Looks like the water came and soaked the gunpowder. Now they can't use their cannons. He's got his hands on his hips. He's upset. Wow, look how, like, his pants, they're very, like, wide down there. I feel like that would kind of get in the way. He's got his gray hair, too, and his sword. Who drew this? By Heather Burton. <clears throat> got Brutes, the crew. Cool art right here. By Chris Dormus. Just got, like, uh, the crewman right here. I think a, uh, a girl and four guys. Interesting green hat right there. He's got a sword out. He's looking at me. He's kind of upset. He's going to swing at me. Got ramming speed. They're going to ram right into each other. It's an action. Target a ship. Inflicts hit equal to your ship's move cost plus four on that ship. Then you suffer hit points to opposing ship's move cost plus one. So you pretty much crash into each other and you each take damage from it. But your opponent will take more, hopefully. Ramming speed. Just on fire. Ships on fire. Both getting damage. Very interesting. Got a crew. Margareta or Orduino. Not sure. Uh, very cool. Look at that crazy ruffled dress. She's got like a sword in her hand. Unique, loyal, first mate, swordsman, plus two. Gets plus two swashbuckling when you have Enrique uh, Ordino in play intact. So it looks like her brother comes into play or her husband or something like that. Very cool. Got stirring speech. The captain's rallying up his crew. Tack a holy crew uh, or a first mate crew to untack one of your other crews except your captain. Okay. Interesting. Tacking is... Like tapping, tack, tap, untack, untap, very bizarre. 16 pound cannon volley. So, shooting their uh, cannonballs out there. Look at the crazy looking sky right there. Fantastic. This is drawn by Edward P. Beard Jr. I believe he's drawn some magic cards. Very cool. I'm pretty sure he has. Very cool. It's cool to see some artists in here. Uh, so far, a whole bunch of different artists. Really like that. <clears throat> Got Leonard uh, Pinkerton. 
He's playing the drum. He's like a, a Civil War soldier playing the drum when there's fighting in the background. You got the interesting flag. Uh, you got the fire. You got these people just at each other's throats, and he's playing the drum. When Leonard tacks to absorb hits during boarding, he absorbs two extra hits. The poor kid is a scapegoat. Only two came out. They went into a crypt, and only two came out carrying either treasure or a grave. Cool-looking marbled uh, mermaids right there. Beautiful. Explore Captain Attachment. You may only uh, put only two. You may only put only two came out into play. If you have one or more complete artifact adventure play, retack. Tack only two came out. Only two came out in play when you are paying an influence cost to produce three influence. Okay. Ten of us went in. I guess there are fl- there is flavor text down here. I know the crew thinks I'm lucky, uh, Captain, but do I have to play during the battles too? <laughs> yeah, that poor kid. <clears throat> Got crescent fire. Whoa, look at that crazy art right here. Beautiful. Who drew this one? By Paul Daly. Fantastic. Love the colors on there. Poor guy is getting burnt alive. Got hit by a cannibal or something. Oh, man. Got Montanus Mike. He's just a huge guy. He's like a giant. Point right at you. Who drew this one by Jeff uh, Reltz? Really cool. They have a bunch of different artists in this game. Some card games, uh, older ones that uh, aren't around now, some of them only have just a couple artists. It's really nice to see a whole bunch of artists. Really great production value. Really like the frames of the cards. Pretty cool. I love all the artists. Uh, different art. Fantastic art. You may draw only one card immediately before Mike starts. Boarding attack. He's just a big guy pointing at you saying, come on now. Uh, looks like a little kid. Amien Richie de Parisi. Not really sure. It looks like he's taking the sails down. He's a top man. When attack to absorb hits, she absorbs two extra hits except during boarding. I guess it's a girl. And uh, interesting art. Cool. Got Louis Sicilis de Sissis. Oh, it's, it's um the cannon guy again. We got him. We got other brutes. Fancy dance. <laughs> Fancy dance. He's got his top hat on or whatever it's called. And this other crewman's holding up a cup. Asking him if it's okay. No attachments. After you, Alphonse. Oh no, after you. I insist. Fancy dance. <laughs> Funny. <coughs> Sorry. Got near miss. The ship. There f- doesn't look like they missed. It looks like they hit each other. Crazy. Another one of these. Another one of these. You can only allow three of the same in each deck. So, so far I got a couple. Another fancy dance. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. This is uh, the flag from the box. Uh, this What is this? Is this the ship? This is the ship, I believe. Crew, maximum of six. So when you start the game, you can only have six crew. React, tack before performing an action to move uh, to the adjacent seat. Tack when playing an influence cost to produce one influence. Okay. The artist down here, William O'Connor, drew that one. Beautiful son in the background. Uh, Granule de Grace. Maybe Son of Grace. Not really sure. So that is the ship. Now it's to the side. Got bully boys. A bunch of bullies. He's got a knife in his teeth. He's got a pistol down here and a sword pointing at him. He's saying, stop it. Cool. Well, that's cool art right there. Who drew this one? By Greg uh, Luzentak. It's hard to read that. Luzentak? Not sure. It's a crew. Right here, Captain. You looking for a crew? Here's the best crew you'll ever find on the seven seas. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> He's leaving them. They're at the market trying to sell their cruisemanship. Cool. I love the art. Fantastic. Just like how it's like uh, just a couple tones. Got shell blacks. Uh, no attachment. Soft me, lads. This uh, cove has claimed better men than us. So go carefully. Very cool. Slippery sail. They're upset at each other, at each other's throats. Going to throw them off. Villainous. No attachments. Beautiful. Ooh, there we go. These are the seas, I think. <coughs> ah, my throat. I got forbidden seas. Fantastic. Look at that cove right there. It looks like a skull. Imagine that. Would you sail into there? I bet if you saw that in the seas, that's where all the treasure was. Surrounded. Surrounds Volcanent. Uh, and it's also called so because of church's uh, sanction. No Thien may sail too far. These waters uh, least has fall in the treacherous hands of the Crescent Empire. Very interesting. Love the art. Fantastic. Look at that crazy cove. I'll sit this in the sea pile. Got frothing sea. That means it's frothing a bunch. Off coast of Montague's, the general sits here and waits for the unwary and the foolish. Waiting there with the lighthouse. Interesting. I wonder if they had lighthouses back then. Probably, but not as strong. La Boca. 
interesting in the rock kind of fortified island beautiful is the gulf just south of uh, Castile it is also the home of the brotherhood of the coast and their pirate king the pirate king very cool <clears throat> the mirror the water so calm it's like a mirror beautiful love the colors in the sky right there it's as calm and smooth as the namesake uh, it is that the uh, Vodakin lurks waiting for ships who dare to uh, who dare the ice at blue water so there's something underneath it maybe that's what that blue shade is down there and you got a seagull flying there as well Ooh, look at the sky in this one trade sea beautiful rainbow colored sky Love like the crests and everything right here. Carl Frank drew this one. <clears throat> Lies to the north and is home to Avalon and the Vendel. It is home to the Isle of Sidith and the horrible man-eating mermaids. Oh no, the poor mermaids eat men. That's not like the Ariel we know. You got near miss again. You got storms make sailors. Very true. No one became a good sailor from calm seas. Look at that. Beautiful. Got Master Gunner teaching him how to load the cannonballs. Got smoke everywhere. Fantastic. Master of the Tops. He's the sailing master. Very gray looking picture. This is drawn by Jeff uh, Mangus. I believe that he drew some magic cards. Uh, Montagina Puzzle Sword. Cool. Looks kind of small to put your hand in there. Got the Valet. They're dressing him up in his powdered wig, ready to go to battle or something. Got musketeers, literally poking his hat off his head, swashbuckling. They get one to swashbuckling. Maybe swashbuckling is sword work. I'm not sure. <laughs> Baby T. She's got her hot pink dress on and her sword with blood wiping off the blood. She uh, looks fierce, but also kills fierce as well. Fantastic. What is happening here? A portal opened up in the world. That's confusing. It uh, doesn't look like it belongs in a pirate game. It looks like there's a portal opening up on the side and he's pulled out a cannonball or something or bloody arms. Not really sure what's happening. What is this? Uh, Fibros Desas du Pax. Sorry if I'm butchering some of these names. You got a powderous wig guy right here. Uh, Gillis Alice de Crooks. Not sure. Isabel Dubius de Errant. Maybe that's French or something like that. I'm not really sure. I fight better drunk. They're in a, a pub. He's got his tattoo of a anchor, so you know he's a pirate. And this guy's swinging a chair. Yep. Hmm. Crazy. Got narrow escape. Ooh, this kind of looks like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Hard to tell what's going on in this picture. Maybe there's fire going on. Interesting art. I think it's drawn by that same artist who draws in kind of monotone colors. Very cool. Love it, though. Love it. Got press gang. Uh-oh, they're grabbing him. They're dragging him down. Put into play from a hand. Uh, a crew with influence costs uh, less than three. Rigging, rigging. What in the blazes is rigging? I'm not sure what they're doing. They're dragging him out. Got twick, quick tack. Maybe have him uh, tap a card or something like that. Make him quickly turn. They're steering the ship or something like that. Or turning the sails. Screaming look on their face. Francis lost notebooks. Very cool. Not sure what that is. It looks kind of fancy. Hmm. These are some different cards. These are adventure cards. Got the merchant ship right there drinking their ale. Beautiful sunset in the background. They're kind of having their little party. Jason Minor drew this one. Cool art. We need us an Ursan Gunner. Ursan Gunner. Tiny little cannon. And he's got cannonballs in his arms. They look way too big for that small little gun. You got other cannon guy, cannoneers in the background. Very cool. Bolts of fine cloth, selling their cloth, maybe at the merchant or something like that. Very peaceful looking picture right here for sure. Very peaceful. <clears throat> winds at your back. Winds at your back is good. They push you forward the way you want to go. Fantastic. Everyone wants that. You don't want winds at your front. You got a swordsman right here. I'm not sure where the actual main pirate guy is. Maybe I missed it. Adventure to see way to complete. Tack four adventuring three if completed in the La Boca. So it costs less if you're in a certain sea. The general. Here is the captain right here. It is the general. The guy right here with this small little cup of wine. Very small. Very interesting hair. It's like a powdered wig, but not. I wonder if it's like some sort of dreadlock sort of hair. Probably. Interesting red garments. 
It's uh, starting front seas. It's swordsman's plus two. The general inflicts two extra hits during boarding attacks. Okay, so he's got extra muscle behind him. While you have three or more other uh, Montaguinas crew on your ship, uh, your crew maximum is increased by two. So if you have uh, three or more of this kind of uh, faction, you can uh, have more crew. Very cool. I guess they're small people or something like that. Very interesting. So that is the general right there. Fantastic. What are these? This is another card right here. It's a Captain Attachment. Sail, uh, Seal of the Sun King. I guess that's like his flag right there. Written from the, the Emperor himself. I don't know. You may not put this card into play if any other player has more influence than you. Act, tack the seal and target any one ship uh, in Frothing Sea. You inflict three hits on that ship. All right. It's got to be in the Frothing Sea, though. Okay, that's some sort of, uh, I'll set this by the captain. It's his attachment. Got 12-pound cannon volley. I think that's different art for our same card we had earlier. Let me just see something real quick. Do, 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 do. Oh, 16-pound cannon volley. Very interesting. So it's just different pounds. A better offering. I'm not sure what does that mean. Uh, a 16-pound cannonball or how, I don't know how heavy a cannonball is. I'm sure a lot. There you go. A better offer. Digging in the ground, found the treasure. Big muscly guys with their swords. Sailors quarreled. They're about to fight on the deck. I'm sure it's their only entertainment or something like that. Calm before their storm. They're raiding each other, grabbing the edge of the other ship. You can see in the background, they found the, the gold, the booty, and they're bringing it over, and they got some more gold there. Almost looks like a ghost or something right here. Very cool. Fun. Got carousing. They're in the city, and it looks like they found some ladies, and they're drinking their wine. You got to cut the ropes, cut the ropes from the other ship, and let them go. You got a good shot. The cannonball is directly at you, flying right towards you. Very cool. And then high seed boarding. Fantastic art. Really cool. Really cool to check out the art on this set. I really like it. So it's definitely like a an action-based game where you, you battle each other's ships, and the last uh, captain alive is the winner. And, uh, yeah, very cool. Really like the art on the field of these cards. Uh, this is the general deck. I believe there are other decks that have different, uh, I guess, uh, captains, which is very cool. And this is the ship right here. Very cool. So you got your general, your ship, and before you start the game, uh, you pick out your crew members. So I believe you pick out a maximum of six, but it does say if my ship has um, this specific type, I can have actually eight. So let's just find my crew. Let's just say one, two, three, four... Where's my other crew? So before the game, you pick out your crew. <coughs> there we go. It's five, six. So say you have six or something like that, and I don't think... And then you, you set up your, your battlefield, and I think your crew members can fight and attack, and they each have different strength and attributes. It's very cool. So you kind of customize your battling ship and make it the best to your advantage. And this captain right here, he does have some advantages in... Um, what is it? What sea does he have advantages? He has advantages in the frothing sea. So if there's ships in the frothing sea, I believe he can do extra damage. Very interesting. So anyways, let's just open up this booster pack and uh, yeah, just see what we do. What does this say? It says 1999. Enter the fantastic land of I should say fantastic sea of Tetha, where pirates and uh, crossars sail the seas in search of plunder and explore. Explorers seek out the mystery of the seven sea. Cool. Let's just see what we get. I wonder if you get a captain in each pack or something like that. I got this one before. I got Jack Taurus, the upside down guy, hanging like Spider-Man or a monkey. Very cool. You got this one, the Cannoneer. This is my fourth copy, I believe of it, so I can't even put this in my deck. You're only allowed three of each. Got Bears of Beer, probably one of my favorite cards I saw here. It's just so funny. The captain's like, has someone stealing the beer? Find out who it is. And he's like, all right, captain, I'm on it. But he's doing it. This guy looks like a captain. Uh... Oh, yeah, the Foul Weather Jack. He's actually the first one I saw. Got the Lost Notebook. Had that one before. So a whole bunch of repeats so far. You got Jimmy. Look at this guy. What is he? He's hoisting up a new sail. He's a top man. Putting up a new sail. The other one must have got hit by a cannonball. What is this? Sea Attachment. Waylaid. Beautiful pirate ship in the background. He's hanging out. He's saying, they're coming aboard. When they hit land, we raid them. Uh, any player in the sea may sink Waylaid by attacking three cannons as an action. Attack this card and target ship in the seas. Inflicted two hit points. Cannon attack on ship. Okay. Got point blank cannon volley. 
Wow, you can see the other ship right there. Blasted right through it. Hole in the hole of the other ship. Right in the storage guy. Uh, this poor guy looks like he's hurt. He was eating dinner. And he just got hit with it. His fork and plate is still there. Uh, Gellens of a Treasure's Fleet. Crazy battle scene going on. Fantastic. Who drew this one? Drew Tucker? Oh, he's, he drew some magic cards, I believe. Beautiful. Uh, ships are kind of all over the place. Two of them converging. Just swords and blades everywhere. Very chaotic. Hard to tell what's going on. Not in focus. But they really ensues, let you know that there's just craziness going on. Fantastic. Got uh, two toe Terrence. This guy's got two toes. He's got a blade in his hand. Not sure what's going on. Crawling over the ship. Nah, I'm all right. Just lost me footing. That's all. Give me a moment to catch my breath, and I'll be right back up in the rigging where I belong. So he fell off. <laughs> he fell off the rigging. Got good shot. Cannonball is right at you. Very cool. You got a Cosetti. Very cool. Uh, orange hair. Cool purple clothes. And she's one of the pirate, uh, the captain's favorites. Uh, Domingo Martin de Avela. He's saying, charge. We get the ships now. He has plus two sailing if captain is Calistana. Got a Penke. Not really sure. What is this? Flame or... No, I think that's actually just a sail. Very cool. And then I guess you don't get a captain. Everyone got Fidor, uh, Zest... What is this? Zest to Shivy? Not really sure. This guy's a beast. He's literally pulling up a cannon and picking it up himself. He got a guy in the sword down there. This guy's arm is on the ground. You can see someone with a musket poking out over there. Crew, loyal, holy react. Attack one of your crew with no attachments. Trait is sunk. The crew is put into your discard pile. Huh, interesting. Ah, very interesting. So uh, it was really fun to check out the art in this game. Just check out a little bit of it. I'm not going to do much gameplay or anything like that just because I would need someone else and stuff like that. But it does seem like a game where you have your, your captain... Uh, you have your ship. You can uh, pick out your crew from your ship from the beginning of the game. And uh, you pretty much want to sink the other people's ships. And whoever is the remaining captain owns all the seven seas. Which is interesting because there's only five right here. You'd think that there'd be seven. Maybe there are seven or something like that. Very interesting. A lot of fun to open up and check out the art. It seems like there was a couple artists that were drew some Magic the Gathering cards, which is always nice to see. And it's always nice to see art that isn't drawn by just the same person. Very cool that they had a diverse pool of artists. Love it. Fun art, fun feel, uh, cool um, kind of world pirates. Very interesting. Anyways, let me know what you think about it. hope you guys enjoy these type of videos. I have a lot of fun opening up and checking out some older card games. If there's another old card game that you can think about, let me know in the comments. Maybe it be worth me checking it out and opening it up. Anyways, just want to say thanks for stopping by. Stay warm out there. It's super cold. And have a beautiful, wonderful day.